Welcome sa ating channel mga kaibigan At eto tayo ngayon after 5 days mag upload na ng video Showing you the benchmarks, the review, and my final thoughts for the Ryzen 3 3200G Pasensya mga kaibigan kung medyo natagalan tayo Pero I need to do this multiple of times Kasi ang pinakamahirap mga kaibigan is uh, When you try to uh, make a way that your benchmark will show up very satisfactory na kumbaga uh, kapani-paniwala talaga that the benchmark is really showing us significant uh, differences and uh, significant changes comparing each brands or each processors dito sa benchmark pero eto nga mga kaibigan malalaman nyo kung bakit medyo nahirapan or natagalan talaga tayo sa pagbe-benchmark, sa pagre-review nitong 3200G. Subscribe muna kayo mga kaibigan dahil marami pa pong susunod. Lalong-lalo na we will be going to the part na overclocking and we will be going a bit deeper in terms of conversation about the new hardwares ng AMD. G. Yan po yung isa sa mga processor na parang kumbaga inabangan ng pinakamarami. Kasi nga, it's the entry-level Ryzen processor. Pero, it's a processor na it comes with a lot of uh, potentials and uh, you can manipulate it as much as you can, as far as you can, pero napakamura lang niya. So, it's like you are working with a processor na Intel Core i7 sa Intel side. Pero ang presyo lang ng processor na ginagalaw mo or uh, pinaglalaroan mo in terms of tweaking and everything is worth 5K processor. So it's an enthusiast level of processor pero entry level lang yung presyo niya. Now we will start the conversation showing you the benchmark. So we started the benchmark or the testing by having the Cinebench R15. And dito nga na mga kaibigan, makikita nyo that the multi-core performance of the Ryzen 3 3200G is way significant compared sa Intel Core i3-9100 and of course, yung previous generation, the Ryzen 3 2200G. Pero when we go to the real-world performance, how it performs, how it works in terms of gaming, medyo dito nagkakaroon ng konting konting konti lang naman. Parang hindi naman siya uh, ganun ka-significant. But when I did the AAA Games benchmark, mga kaibigan, it is showing that the Intel Core i3 is still performing better by few FPS compared sa Ryzen 3 3200G. Pero kahit pa paano, the Ryzen 3 3200G is now performing better compared sa 2200G. Medyo dumikit. Pero yun nga lang, it was not enough out of the box to beat the Intel Core i3 in terms of gaming. So dito medyo naging malinaw sa atin mga kaibigan that the out of the box performance of the Ryzen 3200G is not yet enough to beat the i3. Now before you might want to dislike this video mga kaibigan dahil nga medyo may duda kayo sa aking uh, setup, sa aking settings, sa aking configuration. Wait lang. No doubt. AMD beats Intel. Zen 2 processors beats Intel as all-around processor that you may have in the market. They increase their frequency. The single core performance is now way significant compared before. Pero remember mga kaibigan, Ryzen 3 3200G and 3400G or simply the APU series are not Zen 2 processors. Of course, it is still a previous Zen Plus processor. So it's not Zen 2 po. It's just with a third gen lineup pero hindi po siya new architecture. It is not 7 nanometer architecture processor. Okay, so wait lang. Let's move on first. Before I will be uh, saying or telling everything about the AMD, why the Ryzen 3 3200G is now on par, if not better, than the i3-9100. 
move on muna tayo sa susunod na benchmark. I tried to do the benchmark with the Apex Legends. So it's like a game, like a PUBG or like Battle Royale games. I tried it with Apex. And here, it shows again that the Intel Core i3 is performing way ahead for 5 to 7 FPS compared to Ryzen 3 3200G. 88 FPS over 81 but it's still closer compared to having a 76 FPS from the previous Ryzen processors. Since this is the case mga kaibigan, I disregarded the Intel muna. I tried to have the Ryzen 3 3200G versus the 2200G. And we found out in here mga kaibigan that the 3200G is just performing a little bit higher FPS compared sa 2200G. Makikita niyo dito na it's just like uh, para sa 2 FPS, 1 FPS, 3 FPS, up to 5 FPS in terms of AAA games. Having the video card, ganun lang po galaki yung difference nila. Dito natin mapagtatanto mga kaibigan that the 3200G is just like a refresh of 2200G. Though there is a major upgrade in terms of the architecture, in terms of the uh, frequency, pero um, games are performing based on the video card. Most of the games that we run are GPU bound games. So having a processor with almost the same, yes, the same cache, the same cores, the same threads, wala talaga tayong i-expect dito na malaki or major upgrade. Now with all those uh, benchmarks from Cinebench, from AAA games with i3, comparing it to 2200G with AAA games, and of course, benchmark uh, using uh, browsers, like uh, if you have a Ryzen, it shows in here now that uh, it comes with a better performance kung naka Ryzen ka. With all of those benchmarks, I ended up testing the Ryzen based on its purpose, based on its reason bakit i-consider ng consumer. Unang-una mga kaibigan, you buy a Ryzen APU dahil you can have a processor at very low price and at least pangalawa, you can play games at to 1080p with decent performance like 60 FPS na hindi mo kailangang bumili ng video card and soon you can have a video card and still have a processor that can bring your video card FPS close to a processor with no integrated graphics or with garbage integrated graphics like the i3. Even the i3 bring down the price to 5k more or less and the Ryzen 3 3200G at 5k yung upgrade path yung pagiging budget processor mas ma-appreciate natin with the 3200G that is why sinabi ko kanina mga kaibigan this is what makes AMD 3200G if not on par, a better processor that you may have. Because when you go back to the benchmark, makikita nyo mga kaibigan, konti lang naman yung FPS. Okay, panalo na si i3. Pero the benchmark is showing up an FPS that is, uh, kumbaga, ni hindi nga natin ma-recognize na yung 2 FPS na yan eh. Kung may 3 FPS, what is 3 FPS? Kumbaga, hindi mo na masyadong mapapansin yan. Now, since I want to back up my argument, mga kaibigan, dito ngayon ako medyo natagalan. Overclocking, multiple of times, testing. Kasi ang overclocking, medyo hindi yan kayang gawin ng overnight minsan. Eh. You need to make it stable because all of the data, all of the numbers that I will be saying tonight or today, gabi na po, mga kaibigan. <laughs> because... All of the numbers that I will be disclosing, mga kaibigan, is very sensitive, lalo na kung overclocking. Because you may apply it on your own rigs, on your own PCs, and pag mali yung sinabi kong numbers, automatically, of course, something will be broken or something will be destroyed. So, syempre, naiintindihan ko, pinaghirapan natin yung mga yan. So, so I don't want naman, mga kaibigan, na with the wrong info na na-disclose ko is 
meron akong uh, masisira or meron tayong masisirang uh, gamit or meron tayong masisirang processor. So, I overclock this processor up to the maximum potential na kaya kong mag with the motherboard that I have. So, eto nga mga kaibigan, I made it with this 1600 MHz integrated graphics. Overclock the processor up to 4.125 Actually, 4.1 is enough. Pero since I can bring it to 4.125, then, ayun. Uh, I push it to the limit with uh, 1.3750 volts. So, dito ngayon nagawa kong maiangat yun and did the benchmark and redo the benchmark with the integrated graphics na 1600 MHz. And of course, the memory up to 3.2 MHz. Kasi actually, yung memory ko na maximize ko lang siya up to 3.2. So that is only the frequency. Though you have the chance to have a better FPS than I, kung 3,466 mo na dala yung uh, frequency ng yung memory. Kasi APU are performing better with the higher frequency. That is the rule of thumb in terms of APU. So dito ngayon mga kaibigan, I was able to play Apex Legends with 56 average FPS. Diba? 1080p. 56 average FPS with my current configuration that is already enough for me to have the reason na bumili ng 3200G. I'm not trying to sell 3200G over the Intel Core i3. As you can say, benchmark is benchmark. Real world performance is real world performance. But I'm just trying to give you big reasons why you should consider 3200G especially kung nagtitipid ka. Rather than having an Intel Pentium with a video card, rather than having uh, other processors that you need to buy a video card, lower processors, then why not go for a Ryzen 3? Because when you buy a Ryzen 3, you can overclock it, you can have at least decent FPS until makapag-ipong ka na makabili ng video card and you can still have an FPS so close with this Intel Core i3. So yun lang po mga kaibigan. I'm not trying to be biased in here. You've seen my benchmark. Makikita nyo po yung benchmark ko or review ko with the Intel Core i3. I also said the best thing that you can have with the Intel Core i3. Pero I'm just trying to say um, good reasons or good arguments why you should consider Ryzen 3 3200G. So the integrated graphics is cranked up to the maximum potential. And here, we can now consider the 3200G. Patapusin nyo muna ako mga kaibigan. Now, if you have disliked this video mga kaibigan, dahil Intel fanboy ka, wait lang. I am still a good news for you naman. Because I want to be fair in here. I need to be neutral also. Hindi pwedeng AMD, 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 Intel, Intel, Intel. I need to be neutral. I need to say, yun yung tulad nyo ng sinabi ko kanina mga kaibigan, it's just like a Michael Jordan versus LeBron James talking about their arguments with the uh, their opinions leaning on each uh, side. So, medyo unending conversation yan. Pero, with all those efforts, mga kaibigan, trying to make this 3200G a winner in all benchmarks with the overclock variant or overclock 3200G, I still fail to beat the out-of-the-box Intel. When I plug the video card. So, dito talaga natin tatanggapin na well, let's give it to Intel. That part of having uh, a better FPS for small numbers, let's give it to Intel. Let's be fair in here. I'm an AMD user. We have the Zen 2 winner. So, why should you still want to beat the ass of Intel. So, let's give it to Intel. They won for that part. Pero, sabi ko nga, that makes this conversation AMD 3200G on par with i3. If you try to analyze, and if you are really a guy who are into budget na medyo nagtitipid, then, you should have the Ryzen 3 3200G. Pero, yun nga mga kaibigan, if you can have an Intel Core i3 with a video card, then it means you have a budget. So why not consider having the Ryzen 5 3600? I love Intel. I've been with Intel for a few years. 
Pero I should be honest, this is an AMD year. So end of conversation mga kaibigan. Let's wait next year if Intel will bring out something better with their next generation CPUs.